a colossal explosion ripped through the evening air, leaving towering plumes of smoke rising hundreds of meters into the sky. It was a blast so powerful, the shockwave shook buildings and shattered windows far distant across the city of Beirut. The destruction is on a scale to match, centered, according to witnesses, on the port area. Cars tossed across the highway. Local security sources report many injured and the number dead amid the smoke and debris. And there are fears of others trapped inside the rubble of collapsed buildings. You could hear it. It was loud. The house moved and stuff, but this time it was different. We felt like it went inside us, like it passed our soul, the wave. I saw something bright and I lost my hearing for a few seconds. Even the, the taxi driver, he stopped and he, he looked back and, and the explosion just went up and all the glass in the car just fell on us. The health minister told local journalists a ship carrying fireworks had blown up. Though the size of the explosion suggests another explanation. Whether this is the result of an accident, an act of terror, or an act of war is not immediately clear. But the Lebanese capital is home to Hezbollah, an Iranian-backed militant group that is the sworn enemy of America and neighboring Israel to the south. It comes amid rising political tensions and an economic crisis that is the worst since a bloody civil war ended in 1990. Beirut is a city that is never truly at peace, at the heart of a region at permanent war. This evening, there are fears Lebanon may be starting another dark and violent chapter. John Ray, ITV News.